What's going on you guys? Dangerous Space here bringing you guys today another weapons review. And today I wanted to cover the M16A3. Practically the most versatile gun in all of Battlefield history. If not, it is the most versatile gun. Now the M16A3 has been in the Battlefield franchise from what I can remember most iconically in Battlefield 3 because it absolutely destroyed everything in Battlefield 3. That's when its real rise to fame uh, came into conclusion. Especially uh, going along then, not being in Battlefield 4, there was a whole big and forth spiel over the community and three burst wasn't honestly a full setting for the m4 uh the m16 a4 so but bringing it back into hardline this thing here has taken its crown back but definitely has got some competition with the 416 that i've covered in a previous video anyways bringing up the sim 6 stats right now looks like we've got a max damage of 28 a minimum damage of 18 a drop off start of 40 meters that is that's pretty far that's and a drop off end of 60 meters. A full rate of fire of 800, a velocity of 650, which is really, really good. A magazine size of 31, with one in the chamber, or 36, I believe, with extended mags. Recoil of 0 0.5, recoil left of 0 0.05, recoil right of 0 0.225, and a first shot multiplier of 2.5. So, in other words, there's no recoil. This thing is pretty laser like uh there's a little bit you've got to do with uh going on your right pull but nothing a muzzle break any stubby grip can't handle now the m16 like i said before is an absolute bar house and along with the three top assault rifles for the operator kit the akm the 416 and the m16 there's really no competition bearing between any and it almost sometimes when you see other people using other guns and you know you have an M16 in your hand, it's almost an unfair advantage because looking at some of the other statistics that these guns really don't even come close to standing a chance against the M16. It's very versatile, it's got amazing muzzle velocity, it can take you out from long range, it's got a great RPM so even in close range it can hold its own and since that max damage starts at 28 that means it carries out a four shot kill for a very long time. To be specific it pretty much becomes a five shot kill at exactly 47 meters that's that's pretty far that's that's you know battlefield hardline these maps aren't extremely long range so we're looking at really that's almost some of the max ranges you'll be engaging at unless you're sitting in the back of your spawn with a sniper rifle and there's not too many people that do that anymore especially in this game so there definitely needs to be some weapon balance. Unfortunately, even looking at in the latest patch notes, the AKM is receiving a nerf, but not a single, you know, eye bat was given towards the M16 or the 416. And which is almost really saddening because it's pretty much visceral saying, here, here, you want two god weapons? Here, they're living, literally giving you a absolute beastly weaponry on a silver platter at this point. And there really is something that needs to be done and looked into it. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. If you guys want me to cover a different video, a different gun in another video, don't forget to leave it in the comment section down below. And if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Dangerous Miss, and I'll see you sexy beasts in the next episode. Peace.